Dread. Oops. Oh, I almost said Dread. I'm used to being on my damn trucking channel. Okay. Ride share, rookie. <laughs> anyway, we're having some fun with this, guys. Uh, so I just uploaded a video on the Dread Pirate Trucker YouTube channel. Um, about should truck drivers quit to drive for Uber. If you want to know what I really think about that, you can go over there to that channel. I'll post a link in the description below and you can see that video. I think more of the people here who are watching, who are from Uber, need to be watching that channel. Watching what we're saying over there. Watching my older videos, how much I made driving a truck. Okay, and of some of the places that I got to go to out there driving a truck that I wouldn't have been able to do any other way. Some of the other things that I got to do out there. Okay, so, anyway, alright. Alright, and, and, and so, okay, so guys, alright, my first, my, my first day out, okay, what was that, what was I going to say? Okay, my first day out, uh, with Uber, I was really, man, just lost, okay, but I used it as a learning experience, I still did pretty good, well, today was exactly the, not, I mean, same, I made the same amount of money, but I wasn't lost, I mean, what I'm, what I'm trying to say, what I'm, try, I'm trying to say, is um i used my failures yesterday to remind myself of what not to do okay so basically i replicated my successes and deleted my failures okay so um the things i did wrong yesterday i made sure not to do them today the things i did right yesterday i repeated them okay so all right so today i made the money a hell of a lot faster so two days in a row I'm able to clear at least 150 bucks, and I want I want to make this very, very clear. I am not out there chasing surge pricing or any. I'm not in a special city in the country where there is surging all the time. I don't, I'm, no, no, I'm not doing that shit. Okay, I, I am in the Little Rock, Arkansas area, and the reason I'm not doing any surge rides i'm not going to the areas where they're having surge pricing i'm focusing on the areas around little rock the suburb suburbs and stuff it's because i want to make sure this is doable everywhere okay and it looks like it must be if i can do this in my area and make 150 bucks a day then guys you can do it anywhere all right it has to be so right okay and, and so anyway I'm going to post some tips and tricks that I've learned. Uh, it's going to be in another video coming up. Uh, as a truck driver, we tend to think a little more analytical sometimes than your average Joe, I think, when we're driving. Because we have to. You know, we're taught to think about everything we do all the time when we're driving. So, um, and to plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead, plan ahead. Because if you don't, you're not going to... You're not gonna last long in trucking, okay? Because you're gonna end up in a bad situation or broke, okay? So, anyway, so I used my noggin out there, man. It took me two days to figure out how this Uber thing works, and it's not freaking difficult. But uh, okay, my uh, uh, my second day as an Uber driver, it went pretty good. But I shut down early because I wanted to make some videos and talk to you guys. And talk to the guys on my trucking channel. I would like for you guys to be over there watching that channel. I'd like for those guys to come over and watch this channel. I'd like to give you Uber people and uh, a, 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 a bird's eye look at what we do in trucking and how it works over there, and give them a look at how Uber works and what we're doing over here. Okay. And again, I'm going to say the same thing to you guys that I said to them. Should you quit Uber? To go drive a truck I'm not gonna say you should okay if you're happy with what you're doing and you're making good money where you're at um, first of all that's why I encourage you to watch a more of my video more of my videos on the YouTube channel called dread pirate trucker you can see my paycheck videos and all that stuff and some of the great places I got to go but here's why what, what I want you guys to keep in mind on the on the uber side I didn't have to worry about any maintenance <laughs> on the trucks I was driving. The company, you know, covers the maintenance. Uh, I didn't have to. I didn't have to worry about the logistics of 
planning. Okay, what I'm trying to say is this. At trucking companies, you've got dispatchers, load planners, the company itself. Every It's in everybody's best interest that those trucks stay rolling and stay moving and the driver drives as much as they can. You know, because that's how they all make money, okay? But in Uber, with Uber, all of that is your responsibility, you know? So you have to do everything yourself, you know? And uh, all it would take is what for, you know, one major mechanical failure on your vehicle and you're probably done. But I've heard that there's, um, that there's guys out there that, that sign up for these warranty deals that seem to help them. But I'm going to tell you guys, like I told them on my trucking channel, there's a, there's a right way and a wrong way to do Uber. I mean, I don't think you should go out and spend 30 grand on a vehicle to drive for Uber. Cause, because, guys, if you understand business at all, then your debt-to-earnings ratio is pretty far off, right? Okay, because you've spent $30,000 on a piece of equipment to maybe make you $150 a night, right? Okay, uh, it goes down. There's a failure. Even if the warranty does fix it, several days without that $150 a night income and then your monthly income is no longer what it was before so your income your 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 income is way down man okay so what and what i'm saying and then and then having to, if you have to pay for repairs or you have to sit you know what i'm saying is is okay it's a better scenario to spend a much less on a piece of equipment that gets you that same amount, makes you that same amount of money every night. So why not just go out and pay like 2,500 bucks for a cheap car that meets the specifications, uh, you know, that passes the Uber, you know, passes through Uber's uh, specifications. And then your freaking income to debt, it, your income is a whole lot higher. Okay, so I mean, you've, you've not spent very much to make the money. All right, so if that car goes down, you should have the money saved up to just go buy another one, you know? But then again, you can't keep buying cars either. But it just looks to me like, man, if you're not careful, man, that, I mean, yeah, you can make the money over here at Uber, and you can, you can run, and you can make the money, but you better be putting something back because all of that, all that, the maintenance and everything falls in your lap. If something goes wrong it's on you you know so be very careful out there guys uh, either make sure you have a damn good warranty or you have a backup plan or have a have a backup car <laughs> or maybe think about going and getting your CDL okay so anyway so we're gonna make some more videos on this channel describing the uber situation uh, what what I think about it I'm gonna break it down some more and on the trucking channel we're gonna do some there. We're gonna be comparing. It's gonna seem like apples and oranges to some people, but it's gonna make sense and we're gonna fuse the two together. Okay, so guys, that's gonna be the video for now because it's getting too long. Okay, there'll be more coming. Thanks for watching. Uh, what is it supposed to be? What's it called? Ride Shit Rookie!